good night, Evelyn. All right, good night, Evelyn. Oh. Hey, I know you've been working hard, so have a good rest, okay? You deserve it. Right. That's a nice reminder. Okay, we're going to start with the basic waveforms. The heck? Whoa! One month after that. Wait, what the? Thank you to something at all for the One Mind 3.0 conference. The true review uh, process conducted by peace at the observatory, observatory form the use submission. Okay, was not selected the part of the program to do high volume of submissions. See, we cannot comment on why any individual submissions were declined. However, common reasons include overly, overly specific subject matter. <laughs> they may not be applicable to most attendees, a lack of practical real world relevance, and actionable takeaways. Multiple submissions that cover the same subject and poor evaluations of previous speaking engagements. Finally, if your talk falls into a specific sub category of the mental health care software and services market, such as programs targeted towards substances abuse or PTSD, you may want to submit it to One Mind sub uh, Summits, which take place on Monday and Tuesdays of the conference. These focused sub events may be more suitable for the talk. Hmm. Eliza reappraised concerns and dangers inherent to computer assisted therapy. Mm. Was not selected. She, she was meant to have a talk at One Mind 3.0. Holy crap. And this still. Wow. This is a small, but you know, women like you have nothing better to do than criticize because you can't create your own. Enjoy your life, being is really happy, nobody wants to listen to. Who in the world is that? Damn. A freaking hater. Oh. Is that because she's submitting this? It may be the case. That's funny. That's funny if that were to be the reason why. <laughs> I think that's why. I'm very surprised she hasn't really gotten any messages for the past month. Also, that thing is still the same. This was fun, but I think I'm done with it now. Wow, okay, not much about. Huh. Oh boy. An analog oscillator can generate several different basic waveforms, and each has a different sound to it. <laughs> there are plugs one of the cables into an output spot on the front panel of the module. That's a sine wave. <laughs> Now reaches for a large dial and clicks it over to the next setting. That's a square wave. <laughs> she clicks the dial again. That's a sawtooth wave. Oh boy. I do wonder what am I getting myself to. She clicks the dial one more time. And that is a triangle wave. Kind of similar to sign, isn't it? Yes. That's it. Those are the basic types. And, um, you make everything out of those? I don't think so. Or is she? Uh, well, it gets more complicated quickly, but let's start with that. Yes. Okay, now that you have an output wave, you want to change the pitch. That's easy, right? It's the frequency of the wave. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> there are tweaks of different dial making the frequency of the wave move up and down. And then you have the amplitude of the wave. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that's a good one. Now they've been traits another day. There really are a lot of dials on this thing. To shape the sound to make it more like a note and less like a constant tone, we can put an envelope on it. Let me hook that up really quick. Oh, an envelope. I think I'm familiar with that. Uh -huh. uh, so, this module here is a standard ADSR envelope. ADSR? You're, you're going too fast. <laughs> Attack, decay, sustain, release. Very simple. The simplest kind of envelope, really. <laughs> huh. I need to, like, write all this down or something. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll learn it in no time. Nora, you just went through like 10 different concepts and I didn't get any of them. Oh no. <laughs> Here, let me just put an envelope on this. And a filter and a filter envelope. Oh. Nora. Listen to this. So like, I think the difference between being taught by a genius is sometimes they're not at all the best when it comes to teaching. So uh, I'm afraid that's one of the case with Nora here and Evelyn being the student. See, it sounds like a musical instrument now. And all it is is an oscillator shaped by envelopes and filters and driven by a loop sequencer. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, but I don't know how you turn those beeps into that. You just need to start playing with it. <laughs> oh no, the music. But I don't know anything yet. Yes, you do. You know the basics. Just start playing around. Okay, this is totally unexpected. Come on, Evelyn. Try to experiment, okay? Pretend you are like a child and just do things. Don't worry about expertise or sounding good or whatever. It's supposed to be fun. Uh. So have fun! <laughs> She's so energetic. We spend the rest of the night playing around and making weird noises with Nora's electronic music equipment. I didn't realize it then, but there was the beginning of a new direction in my life. Oh wow! It's already April. Whoa! The crowd, the crowd at Jewish Science is really responsive tonight. Something's in the air, and everyone is feeling it. Wow! Really, that's it from these messages. So funny. It might be the sense that spring is finally approaching after a long winter. Nora's been playing a bunch of her music tonight, but midway through she transitions into a different kind of track. Something a little more subdued, but hopefully still fun. This is a little track I made. Only the two of us know. Ooh. I'm still working up the confidence to put my name to what I do, and I'm not sure I'll ever be the kind of person who gets up on stage. But this is still an important step for me. Dude, what the hell? This is both their doings? This is even better than Nora's solo that we heard, listen, basically months ago. <laughs> it's the first time a piece of music I've made is being shared with the public. It's good. Nora never stopped encouraging me to mess around with all the equipment she owns and I ended up enjoying it quite a bit. I still don't know what I'm going to do to support myself in the long term, but I get by for now with contract work here and there. Oh, I get by for now. 
I also published an article describing how I became more skeptical of the computer assisted therapy approach. Ooh. Following Nora's tapes, indeed. After that, Sorin and Rainer stopped trying to get me to join their companies. <laughs> I do need them. I want to reach the people who understand where I'm coming from, who want to hear what I have to say. Nora looks over to me and catches my eye. She's grinning. Uh oh, that's a queen that means she's up to something. Isn't this a beautiful track, everyone? It's the very first track ever by this girl right here. Oh boy. Nora points towards me at the crowd, breaks into cheers. <laughs> Everyone, let her know we want to hear more of her music, okay? Jesus. <laughs> the blood rushes to my face. <laughs> People are smiling and applauding. They like what I made. <laughs> they want me to make more. Nor continues her set, and the music washes off of me. You little mischievous creature. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but I'm tearing up right now. Oh, I have to use a sleeve to wipe my face. People are in distinct, everything starts to blur together. I feel so warm. Oh. Oh, Evelyn. I don't understand any of this, but I'm in love with it. Tonight, I'm in love with everyone, everything, even myself. Ooh. I've never felt like this before, and I have no idea what I did to deserve it. Oh, wow. This is such an upbeat Evelyn indeed, and I'm so glad that it all comes down to this. But for the moment, I'm filled only with gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for everything that led me to this place right here, this moment. Thank you. That's it. That's the game. God damn. <laughs> Written and directed by Matthew Sagey Bird right there. Programming design, Sephbot, the Sectronics. Programming Kate Holman, art and graphic design, Kyle Steed, really nice style. And also Jonathan Strasser. Music style by Matthew C. Burns, good one. Casting director Chris Brown. Oh my god. Ailey K. Sierra Fazal. Yuri Lowenthal! That's Darren! CC Zero, Chrissy Bios, Michelle Mislov, Christian. Emilio Rosal, Priscilla Lopez, Nicolas Delgado, okay, I know that. Michael Gorge, Phil Wong, Rudy Craig Smith, and Sarah L. Mele. Wow. And that's the localization too. I'm actually really glad that I actually ended up choosing that. But that really makes me curious about the rest of the choices too. I didn't get a chance to choose them all. No. Maybe I'll end up like uh, watching a play to it or something. Written in part as a Soviet in the disciplinary resistance 2018 at UK. Wow. Oh yeah, we can chapter select after all. Right. Decision. Oh yeah, I can just play through that again, eventually. That's a really nice one. It makes a better, much better sky once again. 
So yeah, that's a lot of plus in this game for sure. Like giving a freaking nine out of ten for sure. Holy crap! So many to polish, but apparently by being independent, by being an independent artist herself, she actually really enjoys her life as is. Yeah. Thank goodness with the chapter select, I will I'll be able to explore the. Uh, The ones that I uh, I wasn't able to go through thanks to the uh, <laughs> decisions and such, so I'm really glad they actually add that too. So that's actually definitely a definite plus to me too. Well, this is actually this has been two hours and forty minutes of my extra time playing this game, and it's getting way too late for me. So I better be heading off right now. Yeah, it's a really nice one. Uh, the game did really make me emotional at the center part of it, especially the part where uh, yeah we were at Nora's flat and uh, Evelyn mentioned about uh, what she did during her burnout phase for the past three years. And yeah, this game actually also teaches you that apparently by being independent, it means that you are able to do whatever it is that you love, and maybe it won't be much by uh, uh, when it comes to when it comes to you uh, your financial status. What I mean, but yeah. It's very interesting, and I'm actually really looking forward to see the rest of the choices that I haven't made during the decision time. Still really awesome, though, that eventually that we get to see the... Uh, uh, the sessions being... freaking... <laughs> what was it? being break through by our own decisions <laughs> it was such something uh, yeah what comes tricky though is the uh, Nafara session at the third one yeah that was just so much commitment to be had there yep some sessions doesn't really take you from one, just one up to only one session but it can be in multiple sessions wow that makes me wonder I don't know what become of our first session very very first session poor that dude poor that dude so much to follow up but this game is really really good on its own definitely recommended and it really challenges you uh, for those who are interested in both programming and psychology and it also raises up the current Surrounding era as well. This game, I believe, is gonna age like one. So, damn right. Thank you so much for everyone who's been watching through my videos. Um, I do notice the last couple episodes uh, didn't ha really have me uh, having greetings and such. That's because I'm separating this into multiple episodes, <laughs> and I just recording this, like one time right ahead because I'm just so astonished with the game so much that I don't feel like I feel like this is about to end but when is the end? <laughs> and then what it, once it reaches the end yeah there it is that kind of thing so yeah once again I'm really looking forward to checking the other um, other choices first before I think watching other places to it if I want to. So, yeah, I'm sorry that my voice starts to get coarser. It, it tells me that I have to sleep. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'm sorry this has been a long winded uh, review. If it deems to be a review. Love yourself. 
do what's best to you. Uh, sometimes it's gonna take a long process, but I believe eventually you will find what you like at the end of time. Goodbye. Stay safe. And of course, I'll see you in the next game as well. I'm going to play. I still have to finish otherwise. Jeez.